Hello. Um, we've already worked with calligraphic line, and this is another um, type of that. I'm sorry, you can hear my chihuahua and my wife are playing with her squeaky in the background. So you might hear some really loud clicks and a big squeak once in a while. Um, so here's our calligraphic, and these are made with razor blades like this, or you can use um, a card like this to do that, and acrylic ink. So I have a piece of paper to practice on, and I also have tissue paper here to do it on. Tissue paper will be more transparent when attached to a painting. And I'm going to start by putting some um, Dale Raleigh acrylic ink, and I'm trying to see what color blue this is. It's pretty bright blue. It's dirty, so I can't really see it, um, which one this is. And I like the ink or the high flow or the Liquitex um, ink for this because uh, you want something pretty watery. Pour out a little bit so that you could really get it into your razor. And remember when I did the calligraphy, my word was peaceful. Well, believe it or not, that was the word that I did there with the straight lines. So, here's my blade. And I can dip it in the ink like this and kind of start to practice. And you want to kind of have a rhythm to it. So, that would be P. And I want to overlap them again like I did with the other ones silly dog. They're really happy to be with me when I'm home and not at work, so they're going to be right here all the time. P-E-A C E F And I can make it more like a V or a big square U. And we're doing the letters so that it creates a rhythm look to it. Otherwise, it's too open and just random lines. F. U. L. So if I'm ready to do in the next row, I would do it... Um, overlapping some like we did with the calligraphy. I'm going to try it here with part of a cut up Brookshire's card. So you can see I could get a little bit thicker line if I wanted to. Alright, so I'll make a page of that in whatever kind of colors you want. And that's my practice paper, so I could do the very same thing here with my white tissue paper, which will be a lot more transparent into a collage, more lighter weight. And you see that it does pretty much the same thing that I already just did. Alright, so that would be um, straight edge lines using a razor blade with a calligraphic type of bend to it. Uh, let's get another piece of paper here. Let's put this one back and try it on this first. And I'm doing this because this is a natural way for me to think, but a lot of you might not have had art when you were in grade school the way that I did, that they had more free, um, not connected to other things type art, more experimental things. And you might have had art that was related to science or math or how they taught, changed childhood education. And I'm just going to take my blue ink that I have here and we could just drip it or we could make a little bit of a pattern here on the tissue paper and then the drips are nice but we can also then blow it 
And again, this is an organic tie uh, line that is occurring. We can change color and add color. Uh, that would have been the blue. Here's a little bit. I like to add um, when working with actual ink. Have the um, black bee ink because it does some really cool things when the, that mixes with the acrylic in a really cool way. Pour a little pile there. And again, you're looking for interesting shapes, um, interesting types of line that you could come in if you need something to use for a shape in a painting or line in a painting. And that you don't have to worry about messing up your actual painting if you don't want to have it there. So that particular one there is more um, blown shape, but if I want it to be more line, then I can come and drip. Kind of a drip look to it. And those two colors mixing together are really kind of interesting. And I might just want one little place where that bright orange black flow is. That add a little bit more of the blue that I have on my tray here to it. And I might have something to collage with, or I could always start a painting with that technique as well. <laughs> 